So, so in our life group this week, Kathleen was just explaining how she had found Psalm 23 particularly helpful and encouraging uh, recently. And uh, Kathy also picked that up as well this week with her thought for the day. And uh, so yesterday, as I was uh, praying about what I might be talking about today, um, the Lord is my shepherd just uh, came into my thinking. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. It's about a year ago now that we went through Psalm 23 together at Coastlands. And uh, it's, it's, it is just a, an amazing psalm. And this phrase it starts with, the Lord is my shepherd, is just a, such a profound statement. Uh, the word shepherd actually uh, comes from the root word raha, where, which is also the Hebrew word for best friend. So actually this first verse in Psalm 23 could read, the Lord is my best friend friend and my shepherd. Isn't it wonderful to think that that the Lord is our best friend? You know, most people, most scholars uh, reckon that Psalm 23 was written by David when he was just a young shepherd uh, serving his father Jesse while he was keeping watch over those sheep around Bethlehem. And uh, if that was the case, he was most likely 16 or 17 years old uh, when he wrote this. And you can imagine that young David sitting one day looking out over his father's flock and just reflecting on his relationship with God. And, and that relationship that he had with God was, was really personal and that was really unusual uh, in those days. It wasn't until Jesus's time that we really get that personal relationship bit with God. You know, we understand how sin gets in the way of our relationship and it separates us from, from God, separates us from that precious relationship uh, with God. And, and that's how God created us in the first place to be, was, was having a wonderful relationship but, with him. But sin gets in the way of it. And it took the death of Jesus to, to break the power of sin and, and enable that relationship to be restored. It took the death of Jesus for the temple curtain to be torn from top to bottom uh, so that people could now enter into the very presence of God. And yet with certain characters of the Old Testament, like David, we see that it was possible even then to, to know a close relationship with God. And it was as if God himself downloaded his heart uh, and revealed things to David as he spent those hours just looking after the sheep. And then on this day, well, it was quite a significant day, really, because this psalm has uh, helped millions of people since it was written. God reveals his shepherd heart. And, and so it starts with, as I say, this profound statement, the Lord is my shepherd. I mean, if, if ever there was an antidote to, to stress, if ever there was a, a truth to really get hold of, if ever there was a principle to live by, it would be this, the Lord is my shepherd. And getting hold of this can help us live in what has become a, a, a very difficult world to live in right now. David's life proved to be far from a walk in the park. I mean, even back then, uh, as a young shepherd, he had to tackle lions and bears who attacked his flock. And later he slew that giant Goliath, we'll remember, and then thousands of, conf of, of enemies of Israel uh, when he became king. 
And then there were family troubles and conflicts and tragedies. He fell into temptation, which led him into serious sin. And then there were all the pressures of, of being a king. And so I wouldn't be surprised if, if David actually referred back to this psalm very often in his life. He would remember that actually the Lord is his shepherd. And uh, this psalm paved the way really for him to become a giant slayer and a great king. And so we will do well to think about these words so that we can catch the heart of God towards us, that we can face whatever may lie ahead of us. The Lord is my shepherd. I mean, up to this point in the Bible, it was only Jacob, who was another shepherd of old, that had ever used this way of looking at God on an, on an individual basis. He said that God had been his shepherd all his life. He said that when, it, when he was on his deathbed. God has been my shepherd all my life, he said. The Lord is my shepherd. It's a, it's a personal thing. David is not making the point that the Lord is the shepherd of the flock. I mean, that is true, of course. But he's saying he is my shepherd. He shepherds us as individuals whilst knowing the bigger picture. He knows us each by name. He knows our individual circumstances. He knows our faults. He knows our abilities. He knows our potential. He knows when we are lame and when we're tired. He knows when we are lost and when we are content. He knows when we are hungry and when we're thirsty. He is my shepherd. Shepherds know these things. And they also know where the best pastures are and where the still waters are. They know where the dangers are. They know what will frighten the sheep. And shepherds are extremely protective of their sheep. In fact, the more, the more valuable the sheep, the more protective they will be. And as sheep, we are very valuable to God. We have been bought with a great price, even the blood of Jesus. We are God's precious people. We are of more value to God than anything else in the whole of the universe. He loves us. We have a great defender in God. He is our refuge. He is our help in times of trouble. He is our shepherd. And he will go searching for us when we're lost. He will bring us back to the fold on his shoulders rejoicing. He knows how to bind up our wounds. He knows how to heal us. He knows how to provide for us. He will pull us out of tricky situations that we've got ourselves into, just like sheep do. He knows the seasons. He knows where we need to be at, a, at any one time. He guards us. This shepherd we're talking about is no human shepherd with all the failings of a human being. No, this is the Lord. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord, the creator of the universe, the almighty, the all-powerful, the all-knowing, the everywhere present, loving Lord. Now, this is our shepherd. And we can get to the end of our days as Jacob did and say, God has been my shepherd all the days of my life. He never slumbers, he never sleeps. He is able to see through the exterior of my life. He knows me inside out. He even knows what, what I am doing at any time. He, he knows what I'm thinking. So nothing is hidden from God and nothing is a surprise to him. 
He even knows what I'm going to say before I speak. He knows me better than I know myself. Having him in my life is like having my own personal bodyguard. It's a wonderful thing to think that the Lord of the universe has his hand on my life. The Lord is my shepherd at all times and in all places. We can trust our shepherd always. And if ever there was an antidote to stress and worry, it is this. The Lord is my shepherd and we can trust this shepherd completely. He laid down his life for his sheep. And we're, we're talking about a way of life here. Living our lives daily, trusting in our shepherd. Trusting wholly in our shepherd through the thick and the thin of life. Now, one thing Jesus tells us about sheep is that they know their shepherd's voice. Jesus said, my sheep know my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. Now, in order for us to have the Lord as our shepherd, firstly, we need to belong to his flock. I mean, if we belong to another flock, then we'll have a different shepherd. And the way it, that happens, the way that we become part of the flock of Jesus is by recognising that Jesus has died for our sins, that he's bought us with his precious blood. He's redeemed us. Now, sometimes you see sheep in fields and they're they're marked with some dye that, ex that distinguishes them from uh, other flocks. You know, this particular sheep belongs to this particular shepherd. And sometimes that dye is red. And we have been marked by the blood of Jesus. We are his. The Lord is is our shepherd. And so until that really happens, none of what I've been saying really applies to us. We, we need to be followers of Jesus, to be his sheep. And if that has yet to happen to you, then in a few moments I'll pray. And, and we'll pray that maybe you will accept Jesus as your Lord and Saviour, receive this gift of eternal life that he offers you. Now his sheep know his voice. And not only know, but listen to his voice. Listening to the shepherd's voice is very important for a sheep. It is where we get our guidance from. You know, in all of Jesus's teaching, they're there in the New Testament to listen to and to put into practice. And when we do that, we will be on a sure footing. The Lord is my shepherd. May that understanding Bring peace and comfort and assurance to us today. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for this amazing psalm that you downloaded to David all those years ago. I thank you for those anointed words that mean so much to us. Lord, we thank you that you are our shepherd. Thank you that 
you died for your sheep. Thank you that we have been forgiven. Thank you that we have the gift of eternal life through him. And we thank you that we can trust you. We thank you that you are indeed our shepherd who never leaves us. Father, I just want to pray for anyone who is listening, who has never received Jesus as their Lord and Saviour. And I pray right now for them. If that's you, just pray this prayer. Father, I know I have done wrong in my life. I know I have walked my own way. But now I turn to you. I ask for your forgiveness for all the things I have done wrong, for all my sins. I ask forgiveness. I thank you that you died on the cross so that my sins may be forgiven, that I may have eternal life. And so now I receive that forgiveness from you. I accept that you died for me. And I receive you now as my Lord and Saviour. Amen. You know, if you've prayed that prayer, then I'd love you to get in touch and you can contact me on uh, our website through you'll see some contact details there www.coastlandsfamilychurch.com may god bless you may god keep you and may his face shine upon you and bring you peace amen